Hi guys, what's up? Welcome. We are serving some major woman vibes today and I'm kind of like loving it, honestly. Let me show you, let me show you what I'm wearing. So I have the skirt on. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to a um, makeup holiday party. I'm so excited about it. I'll take you guys along with me on Instagram. But uh, for today's video, as per usual, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my TJ Maxx finds for the week. I upload these videos every single Saturday. If you guys aren't subscribed, then definitely do so. What else did I want to say? Earlier this week, I did a exposing TJ Maxx kind of video where I basically shared with you guys a whole bunch of other things TJ Maxx has to offer. So I'll have that video linked down below. A bunch of you guys loved it, so I might turn it into a series that I'll do like maybe every other week. So let me know what you think about that. Um, I think that's pretty much it. This week was good. It wasn't like... You know what I'm saying? But it was pretty good. I'm pretty happy with um, the footage and the products that I ended up picking up. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. At Marshalls, they have this really cute Butter London nail polish kit. It's the gold standard kit. I remember when this came out, I think... I think I remember seeing it on Sephora or Ulta site. But anyways, it's at Marshalls right now. It's so cute. We get four polishes, like cream polishes, and then one gold glitter. And this is retailing for $12.99. Not bad at all. And then they stocked up on a bunch of these um, Smashbox Holidays Contour and Spotlight Palettes, right? We saw this a few weeks back. It's $24.99, but we've never seen these. This is so cool. So we basically get four full-size eyeliners. We get like a black, brown, blue, and nude. And then we also get like a, I think a felt tip liner as well. I love the packaging. It's so trippy. And this is retailing for $24.99. I feel like it's kind of up there. Like still a little bit up there. Mm, I don't know. But they're great liners, from what I remember. I love that we're finding bits and pieces of the MAC Aladdin collection. Um, we found the bronzer a few weeks back, we found the highlighter last week, and then we found the baby eyeshadow. And this is retailing for $19.99. I found only one piece here. Packaging is really beautiful. It's gold, and it has some pink on it too. And then here are the shades that are included. Very beautiful, actually. Uh, pretty neutral. I really like that shade in the middle to the left so pretty we get mattes and metallics in here you could definitely create multiple looks just using this little one i see that we have two brand new um two face 2d fruity products here so the one on the left is a comfort lip glaze the one on the right is a liquid glitter eyeshadow you guys can see the bo boxes are different these are shades that we have never seen we've never seen right 4.99 each so the 2d fruity lip glaze is in the shade who gives a fig which i think is so cute it's a beautiful purple these are very pigmented and then the glitter eyeshadow is in Ice Queen. And this is a beautiful icy blue. It's so gorgeous. Wow. They brought in more BH Cosmetics palettes. This is the Blush Neutrals. There's 26 eyeshadows in here from mattes to metallics. Love these kind of shades. I feel like these look good on everyone. Trust, trust, trust me. So pretty. And this palette is retailing for $6.99. I'm not sure if we saw these, but this is the CoverGirl by Let's Go Glow um, Luminizing Lotion. It's $2.99. It's really nice to use before your foundation. That's me right there. Hey, what's up? <laughs> and then we have the e.l.f. Illuminating Face Primer as well. I'm not sure if we saw this, but if we did, we, they are stocking up. And this is $3.99. I see that they recently filled up the um, racks here with these e.l.f. Sheer Blurring Under Eye Primers. Maybe it's similar to like the Becca one. I don't know if you guys know what I'm referring to, but it's, it looks like it's the same kind of product. It says it's with hyaluronic acid. Yeah, so this is retailing for $2.99. And then I don't think that we've ever seen this. This is the Full Spectrum CoverGirl Defining Moment um, Eyeliner in Deep Blue. The Full Spectrum line just came out. I wanted to a few months ago, and I can't believe it's here. It's $2.99. This kit here by Origins is pretty cool. So it's the best in masks kit. We get the uh, retexturizing rose clay mask, which I've tried and I love so much. Love of love. We get the Clear Improvement um, Active Charcoal Mask, which is the middle one. And then we also get the um, overnight um, in a drink intensive mask. So the hydrating mask. These are all full sizes, I want to say. It's $59.99 here. Is that too, too pricey or, or is it like normal? I don't, I don't know. The next thing that I see here is from NYX. This is the Perfect Nude Lip Kits. We get a bunch of their liquid lipsticks, I want to say. I think that there are six full sizes included in here. Original value $29.50. Wow, and it's only $10.99 here. That's crazy. It's like really the price of kind of like one-ish, right? And since it is sealed on both sides, here are the shade names just for reference. So yeah, just really beautiful, like neutrally everyday kind of shades with various different undertones. But then I thought that this was kind of cute. Uh, this is the Bobbi Brown Pinks with Purpose Lip Color Duo for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I want to say. I'm not sure when this came out. If it came out this year or last year. This is retailing for $19.99. There are two full-size lipsticks included here. They're not the luxe sizes. One of them is called Pink and one of them is called Sandwash Pink. Um, and then the packaging is, kind of, is pink too. It's just a pink life. It's very pretty. I love these shades. One rosy and one nude. And I see this kit here by NYX. So cool. So we get like a full-size... Um, Eyeshadow palette, uh, eyeliner, four lipsticks, the 
pin up pout lipsticks in four beautiful shades nudes and like a red shade deep and light shades um we also get a mascara and then a uh, eyelash primer how cool how cool this is kind of weighted perfect gift i think wow i just i have no words i feel like i just need it because it's so affordable i don't even know which one i would pick this one or the like um liquid lipstick yet hmm i don't know i don't know next up we have some of these coconut micellar makeup melters so cool from first aid beauty i love the packaging there's a pump to it making things a billion times easier so there's 5.4 fluid ounces of product in here and it's only 5.99 wow this is gonna last forever and then how cool is this? I love finding Bare Minerals skincare products. So this is the Clay Cleanser. I didn't even know something like this existed, but it looks amazing. Um, what is it? Four fluid ounces of product, and this is only $5.99. I love the packaging. It's like simple, but like some purple. Cute. So cute. This is the Desert Escape Bare Minerals uh, Duo. We get the Lash Domination Mascara and then a liquid lipstick, both in deluxe sizes. Uh, $7.99. We found the other kit that they have, which included two liquid lipsticks, but this one right here has a liquid lipstick and a mascara. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? The liquid lipstick is in, in Slay. I love the formula of their liquid lipsticks. I always say that. I'm just out of this beauty. This is the Velvet Lip Glide Duo by NARS. $12.99, we get two deluxe size um, Velvet Lip Glides in here. So this shade right here, this rosy shade, is in Californication. I love that name. And then the other shade is Staying Alive. We have some really cool kits here from Glam Glow. This is the Ultimate Duo Cleanse and Hydrate Set. Um, we get a full size of the Thirsty Mud Mask and a full size of the Gentle Bubble uh, Cleanser. I actually got that cleanser in BoxyCharm. It's pretty good. And this is retailing for $39.99 here. This set is also pretty cool. I love the packaging. The box looks so bomb. Original value $42. It's $24.99 here. We get the full size of the Insta Mud um, Mask. And then we get, we get the Glow Setter in Nude uh, Glow. Very pretty. And then we also have this Glam Glow Firming Mask, retailing for $16.99, so it's sold individually. Um, there's what the packaging looks like. It's kind of cool. I like it. I only found one. And then Clinique is always hooking us up with such crazy, like, cool um, skincare kits. So this one right here includes the facial soap as well as this, which is kind of like the Clarisonic. Love the packaging. And this is retailing for $59.99. I'm at Marshalls right now, and I cannot believe we found the Prissy Princess Palette. I didn't even know this existed until I just saw it this second. I'm like, hey, we've never seen you. We found all the other palettes by MAC, or most of them at least, but we never saw this. It's so cute. There's no price on it, but usually these palettes retail for $19.99. Here's what the palette looks like. It seems like it's more of a chlorotoned eyeshadow palette. We get two, four, six, eight eyeshadows, and then one like highlighting shade. Really pretty, though. I'm going to think about this one, even though I feel like I need all of them, but then I'm like, oh, Leo, Leo, Leo. I also see that they have one of these um, Buxom palettes. This is the Dolly's Wild Side eyeshadow palette. Very cute, $14.99. And then here are what the shades look like. You get a ton of neutral shades. Um, and then like one purpley type of color. So not anything too majorly special. It is kind of swatched or tampered with, so I'm probably not going to pick it up anyway, but... I don't know. There would be a new one here. Maybe maybe I would pick it up. The second shade there um, from the left is a really pretty like highlight inner corner type of shade. I would probably pick it up just for that. So nice. Okay, and how cool is it to find this? This is the Smashbox Cali Kiss palette. I do not think we saw this. We saw other Smashbox um, blush palettes, but I don't recall seeing this one. Yay! And this is retailing for $24.99. So here are the shades that are included. Some of them seem like they're highlighters, some of them seem like they're blushes. You can probably also mix and match. I feel like this could possibly be universally flattering depending on your skin tone. You can go lighter or heavy or with these shades, but I love Smashbox palettes. I'll think about this one. It's so pretty. Marshalls also has this kit here from Origin. So we get three deluxe size products and then a matte moisturizer, which is the full size right there on the right. Um, we also get a cleanser. Um, what is that? The serum and then the actual rose mask. This is from the rose line. I've tried the rose mask. I got it in a Sephora play. It's really good. And this is $19.99. I found another one of the Prissy Princess palettes, right? You guys are not going to leave the price. But it's $14.99. That's crazy. Yes. At Marshalls, they also have a ton of philosophy kits. So most of these are like skincare kits. Some of these are like perfume kits. Just pretty affordable, I would say, between um, I think $25 to like $45. Bucks. Not bad. We have this Marc Jacobs The Face Number no. 2 brush. We've been seeing brushes from Marc Jacobs here and there, but I don't think we ever saw this one. I found one piece. It's $12.99. So cheap. This is like $60 on Sephora. And then hopefully there you guys can see what it looks like. It's more of a stiffer um, brush, so I think it would be pretty good for maybe foundation even. And then this is pretty cool. This is the Bare Minerals of Violet Glow Primer. I found only one piece. There's one full ounce of product in here. It's a full size. It looks beautiful. I love the squishy packaging. It's retailing for... Oy, 
$5.99. They usually have this huge section of Glam Glow products. They recently added these guys. They're $24.99 each. It's the Bright Eyes um, Eye Cream. It says Bright and Dark Circles, Hydrate, and it's for fine lines. Damn, I need this in my life ASAP. I like the packaging. It's cool. At Marshalls, I see that they have another dry bar set. This one right here has the curling ironer. We get some other mists here. This is a hairspray. I think that this is the um, dry shampoo. Such a great value. And this is $99.99. I'm actually really surprised to see this here. This is the Blink Electric Eyes Palette. I think it was in collaboration with BoxyCharm. It's $6.99 here at Marshalls. It's actually really gorgeous. We get five metallic shades in here. and They seem like they're going to be really nice and very so for the $6.99 price tag. It's pretty affordable, but I'm kind of like taking back because like this was in BoxyCharm. So it's like, I feel like everything at the end of the day just comes to TJ and Marshalls. You know what I'm saying? What, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know. I also did find one of these Milk Makeup Lip Colors. It's reselling for $4.99. Here's what the shade looks like. It's like a reddish with a hint of pink in there. We did find a few of these in the past, but I don't recall ever seeing this shade. It's in the shade Name Drop. Then I found one of these Smashbox, what is this, lip gloss, uh, $7.99. And it is in the shade, I'm not stopping this, <laughs> Gigi Soft Pink. So it's like a really nice, um, like, basic mid-tone nude it's very pretty next up we have this hollywood glam eyeshadow palette by laura geller it's 9.99 i didn't even know it was laura geller until i actually like you know investigated the box because it says it down there but it doesn't look like it's laura geller but then i figured it was because that's i know that i know is um the font she uses for her products mainly or a lot of the times <laughs> okay does that make sense you know what i'm saying right this palette is so so pretty oh my god wow beautiful i love the pattern um I feel like the colors would kind of mesh in together, but maybe if you're careful with where you put your brush or finger, um, I think it should be fine. It's so cute. I see that they have a bunch of these Neutrogena Hydro Boost City Shield Facial Mists. I'm sorry, Facial Gel Mists. I have a bunch of pieces here. Look at that. And this is retailing for only $9.99. Wow, I feel like I need it. <laughs> I apparently need everything, I guess. They also have a bunch of these Hydro Boost City Shield Eye Serums. I didn't even know this existed, but it looks really cool. There are like little bowlies in there. <laughs> $7.99. I see that they have this Blend Plus Blur brush, which is kind of similar to like the Artiste brushes. They're pretty nice by Real Techniques. This is $3.99. I like this one for like dotting my um, cream contour on my face if I'm going to use that. And I like to blend it in with a different brush. I also see that they have two of these MAC lipsticks. We've never seen these. So we have the Luster lipstick and then the Frost lipstick. And these are retailing for $7.99 each. So the Luster is in Spice It Up. It's like a brownish color. And then the Frost is in Fresh Moroccan, which is like a terracotta. Okay, so then I also see that they stocked up on a ton of Bare Minerals lipsticks and liquid lipsticks. So we've gone through most of the lipsticks, but I think that we have a few brand new liquid lipstick shades. So. I'll show you down below one second. One second. See the liquid lipsticks are $4.99 each. Such an affordable price tag for such amazing quality. They feel like mousse on the lips are so good. Okay, starting from the left, um, we have the shade Flawless. Then we have Shameless, which is a bright pink. I've never watched the show Shameless, by the way. Am I like the craziest person ever? I don't know. We have Devious, which is like a raspberry. Fresh is a beautiful light pink. And then Juicy is like a watermelon red. It's so beautiful. We also have this MAC lip gloss in Primoire Deal, I want to say. It's $7.99. The shade is kind of interesting. I don't know. Ah, so loud. I was on the hunt, 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 hunt uh, to find these Tutti Frutti um, blush duos from Too Faced. So adorable. We've been finding a ton from this line, but we haven't seen their blushes yet. They're $10.99 each. They're both in the same shade. Here's what the blush looks like without the box. So cute. This is in Plum Granite. And then look at this beautiful baby. Love, ha, ha. I hope that not went in too long because I want it, but I don't want to wait six years. I also see that they brought in a bunch of these Bare Minerals mineral cleansing wipes these look really good with chamomile flower extract wow um and this is only 3.99 that's amazing how much did we get in here 45 what 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 the next thing that i see here is from shiseido it's a little bit hard to tell where it's from but i checked the back and it says shiseido 27.99 here are marshall's uh there are five deluxe size lipsticks that are included from like a nude pink um reddish Mm, raspberry black gray type of shade and it comes with a beautiful Shiseido Claire box as well. Very cute. I love how it's presented. I also had to mention this massive Eco Tools bronze bookie brush. This thing's like a big daddy size. It's huge. But I feel like it'd be great for like contouring or bronzing. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It says soft for sensitive skin. Thank you. Here at Marshall's it's retailing for $4.99 which I think is pretty good. 
Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Now, a lot of you guys are probably thinking like, hey, like there's a picture of the modern renaissance in the thumbnail, but you didn't find it. So yes, normally I will not um, include a picture of a product that I don't find um, in my TJ Maxx like thumbnail. But the reason why I did it for this time is because a bunch of people have been finding the ABH modern renaissance palette at their local Ross. I personally don't have any Ross near me. <laughs> it reminds me of like friends, you know, Ross from there. I don't have any Ross stores near me, but, but I did want to inform you guys and let you know that they do have the modern renaissance there. If you have a Ross near you, I think it's retailing for 20 $27.99 so pretty much half of what it usually retails for um, let me know if you guys ended up finding it there's so many of you guys messaging me on Instagram letting me know like hey modern renaissance is that Ross uh, let everyone know I'm like yes I got it so here we are here I am letting you know anyways let me show you guys a few things that I ended up picking up for this past week first off I picked up this deliciousness why is this the cutest thing alive? I need to have kids to dress them up. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, this was only $16.99 at Marshalls. It's by the brand Joy. It's so cute. Comes with a little hat, a little dress. I thought it would be perfect, perfect for the holidays. And these like little tights. Oh! My niece is eight months. Sophie, I mentioned her quite a few times. And I don't know. I saw this and I was like, perfection. This is so her style. Like she would own this. So I had to pick it up for her. I mean, her mom appro approved. So we're good. Um, that's the first thing I picked up. And then... I mean, I feel like I look very dolled up now, but I definitely have those days where I don't want to, I, I want to look like garbage. I just want to, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> not that I'm saying when I wear this, I look that way, but like not really put together. Um, especially during that time of the month, I just don't want anything tight on my body. Can you relate? Let me know. And I want to eat everything in sight. I don't care what, the whole department store, the whole, <laughs> the whole entire Walmart, I'll eat it. Anyways, I ended up picking up these um, Tommy Hilfiger just um, sweats. They were only $19.99 from $59. I thought it was really cute. I got it in a size small. I like, like I said, I don't like tight things when I have my monthly situation. Um, I would have probably even gotten a medium because I want it to be like baggy. Um, I actually stole like one pair from my sister and she's kind of like, yeah, I'll need that back. And I'm like, no, never. Okay, then um, my other niece, Carmela. So I have two nieces and one nephew. Carmela is five. Yeah, she's turning six in March. Anyways, she's coming with her mom and dad and brother, Benjamin, uh, for the holidays. And I'm kind of curating a few gifts for her and her brother. So, so far, I'm finding really good things for her. It's really hard for me to shop for an eight-year-old boy. So if you guys know of anything that I can get him besides for Lego, because he has literally a shitload of Lego. We're probably going to go to the Lego store. Then let me know. And also Pokemon. Like, those two things are out because he has a ton of it. Let me know. Anyways, this is for Carmela. I thought it was cute. She's addicted to Frozen. We're going to go see Frozen 2, like, with the kids. Me, my sister, and the kids. Comes with a bracelet, necklace, and earrings. I'm trying to find affordable options. It was only $3.99 at Marshalls. What else? I needed this. <laughs> I can't open her. I have one from the dollar store, and I'm totally down for, like, products that are a dollar. But my can opener doesn't work. So disappointing. So I picked up this one from KitchenAid. It's solid. It feels good. It's white. I feel like it would go with everything. Seven ninety nine. And then I picked up some of these GFB like bowlies. Um, this is PB and J. They have a cherry one. They have coconut. These are amazing. They have pretty good ingredients. They happen to be vegan as well. And I, I always try to get that if I'm there. Like every time I'm there, I'm always hungry. Um, okay. The next thing I picked up was from Mac. I definitely wanted to you know have this baby in my life. And for fifteen bucks, I was like, yeah, I cannot pass this up. So this is the Prissy Princess palette. I feel like they constantly come out with more of these. Like, I turn my head around and then another one is, you know, uh, released. <laughs> that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, here's what the palette looks like. Very pretty. Whoa, these are very, very soft and very creamy. Just give you guys some swatches here. Um, Alright, that black can definitely use some help. <laughs> But here are what the shades look like. They seem really, really light in tone. So uh, maybe that's a good thing because then you can kind of build it up because I go very heavy-handed very fast. We'll see. I have to play around with the palettes that I purchased from TJ Maxx because I purchased so many good ones and I just didn't have a chance to use all of them. Speaking of palettes, um, so this is one that I found last week. I recorded it. You guys saw. But I saw it at the store this week again and I'm like, I was just feeling this and then I was actually looking at my phone and I think this released literally six months ago so here the palette looks like it's from BH Cosmetics it's the color festival palette it was only $5.99 um, I used to be into like raving and clubs like very low-key though not that type where I'm like ah but like you know so I felt like this kind of hit home for me I like some of the names I love ED EDM and I don't know disco experience uh, denim queen haze like electric I'm feeling this. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know how crazy I am sometimes with my songs. I like a little bit of everything. Sometimes I like country, sometimes I like pop. Um, old school songs are great as well. 
these seem really really nice and soft and yes is, 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 is growing on me once again um what else um an electric like i said um dance i love those kind of songs so here are what the shades look like very smooth very creamy the bh cosmetic zodiac palette whoa like i don't know what it is that i don't just gravitate towards bh cosmetic stuff i feel like because it was like one of the major brands i purchased um when i just started out with makeup and the quality wasn't the best then so like since then i'm like i'm good i'm good but they stepped up their game like literally I don't know, the swatches are going to be all over, but these are absolutely stunning. We get a selection of mattes in here as well. Like this one right here is a matte. So I definitely feel like you can use this palette on its own. Very, very, very soft. I feel like I just spit, but I feel like you can create so much with this. Like there's a little bit of everything. So damn pretty. Okay, and then the final thing that I picked up was the Tutti Fruity Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo. So I know that uh, people are finding these. The one I found was Plum Granite. Um, there's, a, I think, a pink one that is also uh, hitting stores right now. But this is the only one that I found, like, at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Like, I constantly find the shade, which is fine. Here is what it looks like. These are so cute. I love anything that's part of the Tutti Fruity line. So here is what this looks like. I'm just going to swatch them together. Yum. It smells heavenly. So definitely a bit more purpley. I'm just thinking maybe I would just mix them together. So here's what it looks like swatched together. And this is separately. We get a matte and a luminous blush. But I feel like together it creates a nice, light, luminous type of blush. Not heavy. Um, it smells so good. All right. That is pretty much it. That's everything that I picked up from Marshalls and TJ Maxx for this week. Oh, yeah. Old dirty right now, but I hope you guys enjoy this. Definitely let me know what products you guys picked up from TJ Maxx or Marshalls this week. I think for this week, I'm going to unbox my TJ Maxx advent calendar. My sister has been up my butt about it, and I'm like, okay. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much, and I'm looking forward to reading your comments down below. Bye. There's a cat there. Black cat. Okay, bye.